Hello, my whole squad. I'm trying to fix my hair. Give me a second. <laughs> that one, that did a lot, didn't it? Okay. <clears throat> Time for favorites. <sighs> As you know, I don't do them that often. And I was going to make a list, but that list didn't happen. So I think I made a small list. But anyway, we're going to talk about some favorites of mine right now. So let's do this. All right, so let's first say this. Say less, say this. Um, hey, my hoes. I'm sorry. This. Do y'all see how that's doing? The shrinkage is real, and it just looks goofy. Okay, I give up. That didn't help. Okay, whatever. Child, that's why I don't wear my hair out anymore. Why is this light coming down like that? Okay, sorry. <sighs> Regroup. Okay, let's start talking. So, we're going to do quite a bit different things. Oh my goodness, I got to go grab something. I'm going to go back and grab it, but hold on. Let's talk. First things first, we're going to talk about two food items. I'm going to put pictures up because I can't find one of them that I had. But anyway, let's talk about the first one. And this is going to be here. I'm going to put put it. It is called garlic bread cheese. Now, normally I get this at Aldi's, but I have found it at Mariano's. So you can find it in cheese section sometimes. Now, let me say this. You have to get the garlic bread cheese. Not the regular bread cheese. Not the bacon bread cheese. No has to be the garlic bread. It's something about this stuff me and Kari love. It, it tastes like, you know how you get garlic, cheese garlic bread? That's exactly what this is. This is like cheese garlic bread. So I get it and what you do is then I, I cut it up in small pieces um, into squares and then I put it in a thing of aluminum foil and I bake it in the oven because you want it warm. So you warm it up and get it like, you know, soft and melty. And then you take it out and you put it on a cracker or a bread. I do crackers, pita crackers. <sighs> it is so good. So yeah, that's some, that's me and Kari's thing. It's like the garlic bread cheese. So that's one thing. Now, Amina, y'all know Amina. Well, not everybody knows Amina, but I'm gonna put her uh, channel on here. She hasn't, you know, she's not active on youtube anymore but you know that's how i met her and we are still friends so amina sent me these cookies from this uh in i think it's in virginia dc in the dc area the dmv and they are called they was from a company called homemade sweets which has a an ig account <clears throat> i'll try to put the picture of her IG account up but anyway she makes cookies and she sent me the sample pack of these cookies and I'm gonna show you the one that I really fell in love with they were all good cookies don't get me wrong but this one right here I posted up and said if cook if, if love was a cookie it would be this cookie it is a brown they says a brown butter cookie with and it was it was buttery and rich and sweet and perfect and then it has strawberries it had this strawberry cream in it that I almost died for. If I could have had six of them cookies, I, I probably would be six pounds heavier. The damn things are so big and so rich. And then that strawberry was so good. And it had little pieces of strawberry in it. OMG. Let me just put it this way. I know if she changes up her menu all the time. I am trying not to eat sweets during Lent, but I'm stalking her page because I'm buying some more because I look at some of the names of her cookies and they are so rich and decadent that I need some more in my life. They're $4.25 a cookie and I'm going to buy, I'm buying six at a time. You know, what's the point of not having that in your life if you like it? Okay. <clears throat> So that, so that right there is that. That's all I got on that. Let me just stop. I can't even think, I can't even think it through. But anyway, that's that. Okay. Now, let's get into 
hair care. Yes, we're going to do hair care now. And that's why I'm going to stop for a second because I got to grab something. But let's talk hair care products. So I have been, um, A, I've, I'm switching up all my hair care, trying to, you know, get like some stuff that I really love. And one product line I really love is She Sent It. Um, and I'm going to show it to you. Um, and so I have a few things from her line that are my favorites. If I could find one. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what I did with one. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Okay, so let me tell you about these products. So this is the Royal Honey and Argan Softening Leave-In Milk. I've been using this one right here. Baby, it does exactly what it says it does. It has a really... Um, it keeps my hair moisturized it does help to detangle it's it's really um really works well on my hair it has a really sweet scent i love i love my hair smell good too so this is the royal honey leave-in milk then i also have the royal honey an argan conditioning shampoo because I've been looking for some shampoos because I, I got rid of all of my OGXs because I really didn't like them and I didn't think they were, they were that great and I had been buying them and getting them on sale and I was like okay let's switch it up so I got this so I got a few different ones to try and I really like this it really does oh my hair feels so soft and so well cleansed and yet moisturized after I use it okay and now this is the product that I've been using with Bakari. Now, if you don't know who Bakari is, Bakari is my grandson. And I'm going to put up a picture so you can see where I'm where this is coming from. So he has a little boy bun, right? Because his daddy wants him to have hair, but he don't take care of it. So we gave him an undercut, B gives him an undercut, and I take care of the boy bun because she wasn't my baby was he was losing his mind so i tried to work with him in his hair drives me crazy because he's very sensitive he don't want you mess with his hair but anyway i found i use this and this has made the world of difference this is the moisture mist leave and conditioner by she sent it i think i have another one of these and i'm so glad but um anyway this leave it this detangled the hell out of his hair so, if you don't know, they've been out of school. So, we really hadn't done his hair. Honestly, his hair's been sitting in the same braids for two weeks. And so, I decided, let me refresh them. We didn't have time to wash it, but I wanted to refresh his braids. Which means they had been sitting in them braids for two weeks. So, I started on taking, taking them down. And then, I water, sprayed some water and sprayed this on. This made all the difference. It was so easy. It, it detangled really easy. Finger, you know, I was able to finger detangle it really well. It, would, it didn't take me hardly any time to get through his hair, you know, and then put on his, you know, con leave-in conditioner, a thicker one. But this really did make the difference, y'all. This made the difference. <sighs> okay. Now, if you notice, I really don't straighten out my hair a lot. I'm just going to tell the truth. I have had this, this flat iron <laughs> since 2000. And I, I want to say eight. This is a Salia flat iron. I've had this thing forever. It still works. I still love it. But I don't know. I was looking around and I saw this. And I saw I, it kept popping up. You know how you know how these damn ads be popping up on IG and on Facebook. This kept popping up. And then I said, well, go on and try. I get it. And then, you know, it was a deal. It had a good deal. And so I bought that. And so this is the Timo Ring Plus. So let me show y'all how it looks. <laughs> so this is the way the, sh the straightener looks. It's almost like a brush kind of vibe, I guess. Y'all, I really like it. Um, now I will say that I probably need to work on um really know how to use it 
But I'm gonna show you my hair when I straighten my hair with it. I did not use do I did not use my flat iron at all on it. Um, they do have a styler, like a style, you know, to curl with. I think I'm gonna wind up getting it because I don't know. I'm feeling like I want to straighten my hair out a little more here and there. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, because I'm, I'm I, I I go back and forth with it. But anyway, it really worked well. It was pretty simple. It, there is a slight learning curve with it, especially with me being left handed. But it, yeah, straightened my hair out, was easy to use. It was very it was a very pleasant experience. I really like it to the point that I might buy another appliance from them. So that's the Timo, 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 whatever it is. Okay, so there is that. So that's my hair stuff for, for you all. Hey hoes, this is taking a long time, but I'm finally at ta-da! That's right. I, we have 2,000 subscribers on this channel. It took a while. It took a, it took it took quite some time, and you know whatever. Anyway, I want to thank you all, my host squad, for you know hanging out with me. For my new hoes, what's up? Um, for my old hoes, you know, I got love for y'all for real. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I appreciate your views, and you know, feel free to let some other people know about me. Or just watch me enough so that YouTube puts me out all the time. Okay, okay. But anyway, thank you so much for being part of the whole squad. And for the 2,000 hoes out here, they ain't ready for us. Because this whole squad is deep, classy, and never trashy. Okay, we are, but we just keep it on the low. <laughs> now let's get into skincare. Uh, not gonna have a whole lot of skincare, but I got some skincare. Um, this is the first one I'm gonna pull out. This is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. See if you can see that. I think this came in a subscription box of some sort. But anyway, let me tell y'all, this stuff is so good. This is, and, and I looked it up, the stamps, I think this is like under $20. This is super affordable. I'm going to get some more because I'm almost out. <clears throat> Y'all, this is such a good firming eye cream. I have some, you know, wrinkles under the eyes and I monitor them because I, they can, you know, they ain't never going to go away, but I don't need them to be deep. I don't need them to be deep as the love I have for my grandkids. You know what I'm saying? I don't need them to be that deep. I need them to be shallow. Like the love I have for, you know, them cookies. You know, I need that, I need that thin love, not that deep love. This help with it. And it's very, um, emollient and very like my, my under eye skin is very moisturized. Yeah, I know we don't need eye creams. We can use any moisturizer. But I'm just that person who likes an eye cream. And that says eye cream. Yeah, just call me stupid or whatever. But that is the truth. So there's that. <laughs> okay. Y'all ready? I got a couple of... So I have this, which is the DHC Face Wash Powder. Now, don't confuse this with a exfoliating powder, like an enzyme powder. This is not. This is a face wash powder. And it's a very nice and mild, gentle face wash. But it gives you a slight... No, it doesn't even give you that. It's just a really nice face wash powder. And your face feels very clean, yet not stripped. So this is a really nice one. Like, this is perfect for travel. Because, you know, you could seal it, you know, tape it up. You ain't got to worry about it, you know. Um, spilling, you know, just take this off so nothing happens and it's going to last, it's going, your skin's going to look good. So that's that. And I'm looking for things that I can travel with because I am going out of town. I'm going to be using some of my samples. So I'll come in anyway. Let me keep going. Then I have this. Now y'all know I'm working on breaking the empties code. So I am and using products. I have not talked about this yet, but I do need to talk about it. The whole setup that I used. So I am. So anyway, this is Tula's. This is the cult classic pure cult classic purifying face cleanser. Baby, this is a cleanser. I haven't finished it because it's not a lot in here, but I had to stop using it because this strips your skin. 
I know it says it doesn't, but it's winter time. It was over drying my skin. This is now in the summertime. This is going to be perfect. As soon as the weather breaks, I'm going to start using it again because this will be perfect because it is very, um, it, it is super like, honey, it sucked my skin dry. There was nothing left in my skin. Nothing left. The skin was like, mm -mm, wasn't nothing in these pores. So that's what it's good for. Um, I would not use it um, any other, for any other time, you know, like during the winter time, no. But in the summertime, warm weather, when it's humid, my skin's a little more combination, leaning more oily. Yes, and I think on somebody with oilier skin, baby, this is going to do some life life stuff for you. So that's that. Then we have this. Here we go. This is Kiehl's Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Now, I still go back and forth. Do I need an essence? But I kind of like them. You know, it's just the extraness of the, the beauty routine that makes me, that was like, let me just keep trying these essences out. However, let me say, this does make me understand because like they say you use the essence in between using like your toners and then put this on before you put your serum on because this kind of rehydrates your skin. So I guess like you're actually getting better use of your products, the serums. That's what they claim. I don't know. But let me tell you, I could tell the difference, especially when I was using the Tula because that made my skin so dry because I was using the Tula, a few things from Tula, a couple of things. And so this did help to um, add some moisture to it. Now, I will say this, this stuff stinks. It is very medicinal. So you, if you don't like things like that, this probably won't be something that you will want. But it actually is very good on the skin. I really like it a lot. So that is the Kiehl's Ferulic. You can see I've been using her. I try to use my, my especially skincare. I, I use them for a while. I do. Um, now, did I talk about this? I don't know. This is Peach and Lily Transparency Pro Spot Treatment. I don't know if I talked about this the last time, but even if I did, I'm talking about it again. All right. So this is for spot treatments. Now I'm going to say that it does not work overnight. If you're looking for one that's going to like strip your skin like Ambi, this is not it. However, this is very gentle and mild on the skin and it does it over time. So I felt, I wasn't sure if it was working, but I have seen improvements in spots where I've had, um, you know, uh, eight sunspots and things like that. Um, and what it was, is I had this kind of like low key row y'all couldn't see, but I could, um, and it got rid of those. And then I had this spot on my nose and it's going away. Now it hasn't gone away fully, but it is going away. And so I, I do like this. Um, I might be trying another treatment just to see, but right now this is, this is doing a job. This is doing a job. All right, so I think that's all of skincare. Now let's get into some body care. So I'm only going to show one body wash and a few other things, but let's talk about this body wash. This is Parlier, because I'm a Parlier ho. And this is Caribbean Vanilla. Now this is the original. There's some other Caribbean Vanilla scents. This is the original one. Now, first off, let me say this about Perlier um, bath creams, shower creams. The scent does last on your skin. You know, I hear, you know, some things people be like, oh, it just really doesn't. But no, these last. Now, some of them last more than others. Some might be a little, um, can, can be not quite as strong. But and some are extremely strong, like the tuberose one, baby. That tuberose, Perlier tuberose, honey, you put that on, you, you barely have to put on perfume. If you just want to smell like tuberose, okay. But I'm, that's uh, that's another conversation. Anyway, this is Caribbean vanilla. This is another one that is strong on the skin. This is a boozy vanilla. It is so good and delicious. So I'm gonna do like. My body care, I'm going to do one of those, you know, fra fragrance layering um, essentials. And 
So this is going to be one of them for vanilla because this thing smells so good on. It is boozy and delicious. And let me say this, I'm gonna have to get a bigger one of these soon because I love it. This is gonna be like, mm, this is one of them ones to wear, to use. Yes, yes. Okay. So that's the Perlier Caribbean Vanilla. Now I'm gonna talk about a couple of scrubs. I think that's it. What am I saying? That's it. <laughs> no, that's not. Okay, so let's talk about some scrubs. This is the Velvet Coffee by Tree Hut. If you like coffee fragrances, scents, and you like, then you need this because this is coffee. This has got a strong coffee note in it. I mean, it smells like it smells like some Starbucks. So this is really good and it does like exfoliate your skin like Tree Hut does. And of course it has this serious coffee scent, serious coffee scent in it. So this is Velvet Coffee. I have a couple of more coffee ones that I'm trying to use. I think I was going to get one more and then I was going to talk about all the coffee scrubs. But I got to get to that. Okay, then we have this one. This is in my empties because we know I'm trying to break this empties code. And this is Ulta's Soft Cotton right here. Ooh wee. If you just want a fresh, clean smelling scrub, and I don't want it because I've got rose scrubs. I've got this kind of scrub. You know what I'm saying? If you want a fresh, clean scrub, you want this one. I like their scrubs. They're, they tend to be... Um, salt there they have enough substance to them you know how like some of the tree hut ones are a little more liquidy these tend to be a little thicker um some of them are a little thicker than others but they have a little um, most of them have a little substance to them and the scent is great now i'm gonna tell you i think they might be discontinuing these certain um scents because when i went i just bought some of these and i bought this one again this was six dollars and 25 cents so I don't know if they're discontinuing some of the scents, which I do like, but I'm just telling you, you might want to go and get these because these are really good. Um, because I'm thinking about picking up a couple of more just in case of the ones that seems like they're going to get rid of them. But anyway, this is uh, soft cotton. I went through this real quick because this is like, this is really like, you just need you just want to scrub. You don't you're not looking for it to be super. You don't want it, you don't need to be vanilla or coconut or anything like that. You just want it to smell clean, that clean girl aesthetic. Soft cotton. Okay, so that's that. Um Oh, like I ain't got lo lotions and shit. Hold up. I got a bunch. But I got to throw this in and I just got it. But y'all, y'all going to need to go get this. <laughs> It's about to be summertime and we all, you know, we like the body glow. If you like a body glow, if you know you do body glow oils and stuff, I'm going to need you to go get this. This is the Kapari Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow with SPF 45. So this is a sunscreen and do you see how gorgeous this is? Do you see how gorgeous this is? I've already done a TikTok about it. I don't know why y'all ain't on my TikTok because I'm blow, I'm blowing, the, I'm blowing the, I'm blowing the talk up. I'm blowing the talk up. IGM is like ah eh, whatever. Anyway, this right here is going to. It's I already tried it on. It's, it smells like summertime. It's got coconut hibiscus and macadamia oil, and then it's got this beautiful rosy glow. <gasps> Pink, y'all know I love pink. So a pink glow, who I am going to kill them, as they say. Prepare to be sick of me this summer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oops, I was trying to put things away. I'm trying to put things back before I go to the next section. I forgot about this. This is peach nectar moisturizing yogurt by She Scented. This one is a good one too, y'all. Um, this is, you know, a leave-in. And as you can see, I've been using her. She's like next on the list to be emptied. Um, and it's got a little peachy yogurt scent. There, I'm, I'm going to be saying that 
I have not really had anything from She Sent It that I didn't love. And this is another one. This is it. Oh, this is so good. This is giving, serving my hair up. Just feeling all lovely and moisturized. And the slip gives a good slip. Mm hmm. Um, she Sent It. Y'all better go. Especially, excuse me, especially when she had a sale. She just had a sale and I did pass some. And. Next time she have a sale, I ain't pass, passing it up though, cause I'm okay. Okay, so I see this streak of light coming down right there. I'm gonna have to work on that, cause you see that? That's that light right there. I'm gonna have to work on that. <clears throat> I'm back. I know y'all like, where'd you go? I... Listen, I was lifing. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna finish up with a little bit more body care. I'm not gonna keep y'all forever, cause this is already getting to be a long video. Goose Creek Lotions. Now, I told y'all I'm trying to get away from just Bath and Body Works and find some other things that work. And these babies are on, they have good sales. $4.99, $1.99, $2.99. So this is the Black Cherry um, Lotion. This is Black Cherry Crisp Apple Sweet Rum and Spun Sugar. Who, yes, child, waters. Mm, this is good. This is a this is a cherry vibe. This is this is cherry vibe. This is cherry vibe. So that one. Then we have black amber plum. Oh my gosh! If you like plum fragrances, you need and looking for plum body care. Yes, I got a lot of plum body care. Though. I'm I'm about to turn y'all out soon. And this is Sweet Plums, Mandarin, Jasmine, Black Amber, and Patchouli. Oh. There you go. And this one, I don't see it on their website now, but maybe they'll bring it back. It's called Autumn Romance. Now, this one is Warm Amber, Creamy Sandalwood, Sugar Crystals, and Brush Suede. So this is real unisex. Black Amber Plum is too. They're all unisex. This is super unisex. This is a very sexy sandalwood amber vibe. This is really good for, for like sandalwood based fragrances, things like that. This will go great with it. Matter of fact, I've already worn it with a few things. Now, I'm going to say that these are not the most moisturizing lotions that I own, but they are, they soften your skin a little bit, but this is all about the fragrance and the layering for me. So I have others that are more moisturizing and then I put this on, on top of it. Boom. So now let's get into the fragrances and we know I've been buying a lot of fragrances lately. I've been wearing a lot of fragrances, um, so I'm only going to go over a few, not all of the things that I've been really digging on lately, because I've been digging on a lot of things, um, but these are the ones that really kind of stand out. Okay, so we're going to go with this. This is Commodity Gold, the Expressive. Got this in my FabFitFun box, which if you don't know, FabFitFun um, gifted me one. I will put it... In the cards hopefully or in the description box the video so if you want to see it and get the discount but yeah this is a really sweet vanilla kind of powdery ambery vibe it is really one of those fragrances that you could kind of just chill and use up um and just spray um layers well with things because it's got that, that vanilla it's got this kind of um warmth to it so that's commodity gold dolce amalfi by zerjoff this is a spicy fruity everybody says it's like a spicy fruity like gum kind of vibe um but it's got clove and, and incense vanilla apple saffron so it has this fruitiness it's, everybody says it's like a spicy juicy fruit gum I have not had Juicy Fruit in forever, so I can't say that, but it is like this spicy, fruity, vanilla vibe. <laughs> it, it, I, I'm, I was pleasantly surprised, and I'm really glad I got it. So that is Dolce Amalfi. Did I do that in my good abandonment? I don't know. All right. Then we're going to say Royal Vanilla by... Uh, me and Sarah. Now, real talk, I've tried this years ago. I did not like it. 
but someone said I needed it. My friend said it, Coco, and it was the best thing ever. And then I just, I got a good deal. So I swooped around and picked it up again and I like it. It is a caramely rose. So it's similar to Rose's Vanille, but it's richer. It's got a little rich, it's a richer vibe. So whereas Rose's Vanille is sugar, this is caramel. So it's got that more richer caramely vibe with the roses. So it's a jammy rose. Really, really quite decadent. Love it. So there is Royal Vanilla. Mm, mm, mm. This hoe right here. This hoe right here, my, my throuple took care of me. This is Nazamato's Narcotic V. Narcotic V. Oh, Narcotic Venus. This is a sexy, out of control, out of control, sexy tuberose, white floral. Don't need much of it because you're going to stunt on the hoes. And bring all the boys to your yard. That is Narcotic V. All right. Wanted to leave for last the Latafas because we've been in, I've been into the Latafas. We are all vibing on Latafa right now. So here's the Latafas. And I'm only going to grab a few of my dupes. Let's just go. Now, this one is Fragrance World, though. This is not Latafa. This is Barakat Satin Oud. Baby, this is Oud Satin Mood all day, all day, and it is gorgeous. It's got that powderiness, it's got the Oud, it's got the rose, it's got that sweet sweetness to it, yeah. And it lasts, and it gets the compliments just like Oud Satin Mood, wears just like it, boom. This one right here, Rams Gold. Now, Ram's Gold is this fruity oud. I love it. It is a fruity oud with jasmine. So it's got a little florals, but really it's just the fruity oud. And the oud is, is blended well, well blended, and not, not skanky, not too much. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's, it's got a definitely sensual, seductive vibe to it. So that's Ram's Gold. Now, of the straight dupes, let's just talk straight. Oh, Opulent Musk. Now, I like, I'm sorry, Opulent Red. This is Opulent Red. I like Opulent Musk too, but if I had to choose between the two, I would lean toward Opulent Red. This is serving. Oh, she is serving. They are serving the nation, baby. It's just, it's got that, uh, it's got that, like juiciness it's got the spiciness it's giving it it's giving it's giving all that now of course i'm only gonna pull out because we know i like all of the other than the fabulo intense but that's just because i don't like that fragrance i like all of their dupes let's just be honest but i'm only gonna pull out two for y'all right now just because i ain't gonna keep y'all here all day because y'all already been here a long time this is lovely sheree which is of course the lost cherry dupe and yes, it's duping and it's lasting and it's giving you that cherry, almond, slightly boozy vibe that you want. It is, it's that. And so if you like the lost cherry vibe, doesn't last, just don't want to spend that type of money. Lovely Cherie. They were online, on. they were on Fragrance by while I was filming this ain't no telling though it could be sold out by the time I post this up and then we have Tabac this is Tabac Allure it is a smoky peachy vibe tobacco so it's smoky it's peachy it is really quite stunning um yeah so this is Tabac y'all Mm -mm. it's good now i'm about to pull this one out and i just got it but i ain't gonna lie ward and honey the, the compliments was coming in so i'm gonna just show it to y'all and we're gonna talk about it now it will be in the good the bad and the meh which this is ruby red by the house of Oud, obviously based on the bottle y'all this is a gorgeous ginger tuberose similar in the lines of la entre de rouge 
but this is a little different. The ginger is a little more prominent. It is, whoo, child, it is good. The girls are talking about her. I was lucky enough to get her on a good deal, so I feel better about my choices. Because hmm, this baby was $2.75. I paid $1.25. It might still be on fragrance by right now as I speak. $1.29, I think. You heard that $1.29. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's pretty. She's doing her thing. We love her. Yes, honey. Yes. Oh, so I'm just I'm just moving around. So that is it for my good. Yeah. So that is it for my favorites right now. I'm hey hoes. So when nobody gonna tell me that I was just I did a whole video with one earring in my ear. Y'all just wanna tell me. Okay, well I took it out now. Real talk. Um, this it, this hole was trying to close up, so that's why I put the earring in. But I forgot to put the other earring in. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm going to uh, try to be better, write them down better. I got a lot of shit I need to write down right now. Okay, so let me get back to work, taking care of business, doing what I gotta do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free, my hoes.